In this video, we're going to go over the derivatives of the exponentials and log functions. So we've already seen exponentials. We know that the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and the derivative of a to the x is some multiple of a to the x, where there we have this mysterious number k sub a, which we got as a crazy limit. And the question is, what the heck is this? Can we understand what this crazy constant is? And in fact, we can. We can write a is e to the natural log of a. That means that a to the x is e to the natural log of a to the x. So that's e to the x times the natural log of a. Well, we know how to take the derivative of e to the anything. The derivative of e to the anything is e to that anything times the derivative of the anything. And the derivative of x times the natural log of a is just the natural log of a. So we get the natural log of a times a to the x. And in this line, I have freely used this fact. a to the x is e to the x log a, which is a to the x again. So the derivative of a to the x is the log of a, natural log of a, times a to the x. So now we've figured out what our mysterious constant is. It's a natural log. So even if you never liked doing e in the first place, if you want to understand the derivative of, of 2 to the x, natural log of 2 is going to pop in there. So k2 was the natural log of 2, which is around 0 0.7, 0 0.693. k3 was a little bigger than 1. It's the natural log of 3. It's 1.099. k4, well, 4 is 2 squared, so the natural log of 4 is twice the natural log of 2. And one, that's about 1.386. The fact that k4 was twice k2 is not a coincidence. It's a property of logs. OK, so now that we know the derivatives of exponentials, let's figure out the derivatives of logs. So we start with the fact that x is e to the natural log of x. It's a funny way to write x, but it's legal. So the derivative of x has to be the derivative of e to the natural log of x. So 1 is the derivative of x, and that's the derivative of e to the natural log of x. But we know how to take the derivative of e to the anything. The derivative of e to the anything is e to the anything times the derivative of the anything. And e to the log x is just x. So 1 is x times the derivative of the natural log of x. Well, just divide both sides by x, and we get the derivative of the natural log is 1 over x. There we go. Very simple derivative. Okay. Now what about log base a? Well, log base a really isn't a different function. It's just, by our fifth law of logarithms, it's the log of x, natural log of x, divided by the natural log of a. It's just natural log of x divided by a constant. So its derivative is the derivative of the natural log of x divided by the constant. So it's 1 over x divided by the constant. So it's 1 over x times the natural log of a. Great. And now we're done. We have our derivatives of our exponentials. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x with no extra constant. The derivative of a to the x is a to the x times the log of a, natural log of a. Derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. Derivative of log base a is 1 over x log a. There we have it.